Welcome to Debbie Skate San Diego. Today I'm going to challenge myself to a pretty long skate between Solana Beach and Carlsbad. It'll be a 20 mile round trip skate and a lot of terrain that I have never skated before. So come along as I explore and discover how to get between these two beautiful beach towns on the northern coast of San Diego. Hi, I'm Debbie and I am in Carlsbad. So to start, I'm going to drive from here to Solana Beach just to scope out the bike lanes, check out the hazards, the hills, and anything that I feel like I need to be prepared for. Okay, so that exploratory drive was super important. Now I see that there are sections with lots of construction that I need to avoid. I see what I need to do now. Here is my route. It's pretty simple. I'm starting in Solana Beach at Via de la Valle and 101, and then I'm taking 101 all the way up to South Carlsbad State Beach. But to avoid this construction situation and lack of bike lanes, I'm going to take a frontage road to get me through Lucadia. All right, going on my adventure. So I'm starting here on the Solana Beach Coastal Rail Trail, which is another separate video of its own if you haven't tried it. It's a nice, short, easy little skate. Um, it's one and a half miles each way, but um, I will continue after it ends. Okay, I'm about to leave my comfort zone and hop into the bike lane to go to Cardiff. Here we go. All right, so I'm almost done with the connector between Solana Beach and Cardiff, and this bike lane has been awesome. It's a little bit rough, but like still totally fine, clean, and most importantly, separated from traffic. So great. Here we are, the Cardiff slash Encinitas portion of the Coastal Rail Trail. So nice to be on sidewalk, but I'm already cooking, so I think I'm gonna stop and take off this vest. For a long skate like this, I wanna be extra prepared, especially when I'm skating by myself. So first, I like to be really visible and wear a super bright shirt, wear all of my safety gear, and then carry a pair of shoes and two bottles of water. This time, I even packed a first aid kit in case I scraped up on the way and needed to patch up. Here's where you would go to 101, but I'm not gonna do that because 101 is not safe for skating right now. I'm at the end of the Encinitas Coastal Rail Trail across from Swami's Beach and the Self-Realization Fellowship Center. Always a beautiful place to stop and have a break. So now I'm going to, to hop onto the frontage road. So it becomes, oh, Vulcan Road right here. It goes from San Alijo Avenue which is towards Cardiff, and then changes right at this intersection to Vulcan Avenue. Right as I cross Encinitas Boulevard, it became a very like residential side with real no bike lane left. I'm hopping over onto this little walkway over here. So I just landed flat on my ass. I'm sitting here on the sidewalk because I tried to skate through that and my skates did not agree with it, but I'm fine. <laughs> Turns out I did have a casualty on my fall and it was my water bottle, which I have no idea how it opened, but it just, half emptied all over my stuff in my bag. So, it turns out that Vulcan is the god of fire, and apparently he wanted to put me through the test before I could get out of here. I am at the end of Vulcan at La Costa Avenue, and I'm gonna go up to this intersection and see what the next part has in store for me. I made it to Carlsbad. Yes. All right, I'm going down this hill. 
I'm not worried about going too fast because I know it levels out just ahead. I made it, I made it! Two points at ya. Yes. <sighs> oh yeah. Time for a little rest. Snack, water, change camera battery, unlace my skates a little. Okay. This is South Carlsbad State Beach. So this is where I hope to get, and I am so excited that I made it. All right, so the clouds are parting. It's looking really beautiful out, and now I'm heading back. There was a really nice downhill south of Carlsbad, but then there were some bike lane hazards, like some sandbars. And in Lucadia, the bike lanes just completely disappeared, so I needed to find an alternate route to 101, and it wasn't going to be Vulcan. Okay, so I went up and over that hill, and it was rough, and it was a little bit steep, but now I'm on Neptune, and it's great. Neptune Avenue runs parallel to 101, but right along the cliff. There's a two-way bike lane, and it is really nice. Neptune dead ends into Moonlight Beach, so I took a connector back to 101. In Encinitas, the bike lanes are hit or miss, so I hopped up on the sidewalk and had to weave through people to get through town. It's definitely not ideal, but it was only for a few blocks. Ah, uh, a friendly beacon. Coming back to very familiar territory, we can cross over and get on the Encinitas Rail Trail from here. Oh, look how pretty. All right, back to the Encinitas Coastal Rail Trail. And we will not be going to Vulcan Avenue, thank you very much. you can hear it, but I can feel it. After many, many skates and many tea drags, I have achieved a flat spot on my wheel. It feels just like a little vibration. It's not like it's blowing me off balance or gonna stop me or anything, but something is different and it's not right. So it looks like I'll be shopping for some wheels very soon. So I've reached the end of the Encinitas Coastal Rail Trail. And in order to continue to Solana Beach, I'm going to have to cross 101 and take the bike lane along the water, which I don't love, but it was good on the way over, so I'm hopeful it'll be nice. Ooh, train tracks. But I had nothing to fear because, again, the bike paths in Cardiff were fabulous, super safe, and separated from the roads, and well-marked. Solana Beach! Yay! Whew, little hill, that's all right. I am back from my skate and I'm so stoked that I did it. It was far and uh, that Vulcan road part was no party at all. But you know, there are always gonna be the harder parts of every skate. I mean, most of the time the skate was really good and I was really grateful for those beautiful bike lanes in Cardiff. Um, and Carlsbad was also nicely done, so yay for you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me on my adventure today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll try some of those sections. All right, bye. Would you like to see some more places to skate? I have videos for skaters of all levels. Look for Debbie Skate San Diego on YouTube or Facebook.